any of that or intro. Bonjour les poules. Vous avez déjà faim? D'accord. Stop pecking each other. Move. Move. There you go. Good morning. From the southwest of France, the northernmost tip, de Matman says, La Charente. I've got, I've got a funny story to tell you. Well, it's funny for me. Right, let's get in here first. Right, that needs to be lowered. Yeah, it's a... Uh, don't know why I'm wearing my short. It's a bit cold. It's set to warm up though. Anyway. So, <laughs> Pascal, the legend, Pascal, who shall now just be referred to as legend in future, <laughs> um, when he came around the other day uh, and he'd finished, I asked him whether he wanted a, um, a, a tea or a coffee and he went, uh, no, he would very much like a beer. I thought, yeah, midday's early for me. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when I'm going to be operating heavy machinery. So he's got his beer and we're in the kitchen and we're having a chat and uh, he's fixing together the solar panelled um, box for the electrified fence. And he's got the earth in one hand and he's got the, and he's got the, uh, the, the positive in the, in the other hand. I said, be careful, attention. And he said, no, it's fine because it's not on the earth. It, it needs humidity. And um, and then what happens next is he knocks his bottle of beer, which then touches the earth, the earthing rod, which then electrocutes him. <laughs> uh, and he dropped it on the floor, and, uh, <laughs> and we all had a we all had a great laugh, like proper bending over laugh. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd share that with you. Right, so today I need to lower this, um, well, no, I need to raise the chain, I think. Um, yeah, I, I need to get down to the bottom field to do some strimming. Because um, as I said, if, if any of the grass or the, or the reeds start touching the, uh, the, bottom, the bottom wire, it's going to short it out. It won't work. Um, need to move all the brambles, all them blunt weeds. Um, and uh, later on today, uh, we're going to I'm going to pronounce this Nantoy, um, which there's a there's a Halloween event going on, so the kids have got their costumes, and uh, there's going to be a party in the uh, the par party in the chateau, uh, I believe. Uh, you at least got the details. Um, so uh, that's what's happening today, at least. So what's next? Don't know if I was aware a piece was missing mm -hmm. in this puzzle I used to call my life. Oh no, didn't even care enough to be dismissed. thing, wherever it's called. Halloween. Cue slow-mo.
On y va. Absolutely wonderful afternoon and early evening in Nontoy on Valais. Wonderful little place. We've driven through there a few times on the way to Rufek, but we've never stopped off. It's lovely, absolutely lovely. And it was a lovely event for the kids. Yeah, so for the benefit um, of the French, we call that trick or treating. So um, the kids will, you will go to a house um, and they will you knock on the door and they'll say, trick or treat. And uh, the person answering the door will either give them a treat or they'll say trick. And that trick used to start off um, quite mellow back in the 80s, where um, all that would happen is you get an egg thrown at, um, at, your, uh, at your windows. Now it's turned into abuse and uh, possibly assault. <laughs> and for the benefit of the English, speaking people it's called chasse au bonbon which is a i think it's a hunt for sweets and uh, you can probably hear the chasse behind me now um shooting wild wild boar and deer which is a necessity um in france to uh to curb the the overpopulation anyway i'm going to stick the camera on the windowsill and uh i'm going to film uh the night sky sped up. I'll see you tomorrow. Now, that slow-mo was both egregious 
and unnecessary. And I'll explain why I did it. Got a comment yesterday um, from somebody that's been watching the channel for a while, has commented a few times and has even offered me support about ignoring trolls. But I get this. There was a comment um, asking me that I drop the solo, the slow mo, because it's naff. So uh, I read that out to Lisa, my wife, as you know. And their response was, We live in a field in the middle of nowhere. Go away. So why do I do it? Why do I do the slow mo thing? Well, you all should know where it, where it originated from. <laughs> And um, it just developed from there, really. And uh, subscribers email me with their own uh, sunglasses thing. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of fun. Anyway, in t to put things into context, and I'm going to read it out because I wrote it. I wrote it down last night. So how I produce the videos is to think of them as a, as a video diary, yeah, with my target audience as my close family and friends. Um, not everybody's going to get me or my humour. Not everybody likes Marmite. But nothing gives me more pleasure than releasing a video and sitting down with Lisa of a night time and just watching her reaction. Her reaction is the only validation that I need. If people watch and subscribe as a result, then that's amazing too. And uh, from YouTube, I've made some very, very good, your loyal friends, and I wouldn't change it. And the comment section is something that I really, really enjoy too. You lot are absolutely amazing. But once in a while, I get a comment that really winds me up. Anyway, please keep your comments supportive. And if there is something uh, about the channel, me, or the way I do things, um, that gives you the ick, or winds you up, then vote with your feet. But to the rest of you, Good morning from the southwest of France. Do you want the good news or the bad news? I'll give you the bad news. Jean Luc isn't talking to me. The good news is the electric fence works. Ask him. <laughs> you okay, Jean Luc? Oh, you got your teeth out again. <laughs> it's a beautiful day today. Absolutely stunning. And we're in October. No idea what the date is because I don't care. <laughs> That's fun about being retired. Um, the only thing I miss about about having a working life is Fridays. Did you ever get that, that Friday feeling? If you worked a Monday to Friday job, of course, those shift workers you'd probably just get a Wednesday feeling or whatever the day of the week. But uh, yeah, I just used to love that Friday feeling, just walking out the door, knowing that he's going to go into a weekend. Every day's a Friday here. Anyway, don't know whether you can see him. Let's go say hello. Morning, Unique. Are you excited about your, your friend coming on Tuesday, potentially? Oh. You two got a bromance going on, haven't you? You won't be able to see because the zoom on this camera is rubbish, but there is a load of uh, hunt weeds. Down there that I need to move today. Probably won't film that. But uh, apart from that, I've got nothing else planned. So, whatever next is, don't know what it is. Let's go.
I couldn't charge the, uh, the battery for the drone because it wasn't charging. I had about five minutes left and uh, I thought, right, I'll just uh, film the shotgun over the house because I deleted it the other day. So I've done that, so that'll be at the start of this video. Guess what did you reckon? Is it better than the other one? Um, and, uh, and then what it does, it's really clever. Uh, it knows when it's only got a certain amount of battery life left and it takes itself off home. So it took itself up 100 meters and then uh, I just let it carry on recording. Anyway, Unique has been moved to another field. Um, it's what his owners do uh, every so often because he's pretty much, yeah, that's about half an hour ago that last, uh, that last bit of footage. Um, it's because the battery on this ran out. I had to go and put it on fast charge. Anyway, what I was saying was, Unique is being moved uh, to a different field. His owners do that from time to time because he's pretty much mullered that field, um, which is, he's completely removed it of all grass. So uh, yeah, so he's off to another field, so he's not gonna get to meet Wally on Tuesday, hopefully. Anyway, for further this, you're running out of battery. I'll see you tomorrow. Morning. No idea why there's a hen on top of the stable, but there is. Anyway, um, yeah, Lisa's, uh, she's gone to take the kids to school. And uh, that's because straight after she's gone for coffee with a friend, so I'm here by myself. Um, and then we're gonna go out to do a bit of shopping. But uh, the channel that I told you about in the last video, Maria and Rich's channel, A New Life in France, um, yeah, they gave me an amazing shout out yesterday. Um, makes my shout outs pale into insignificance. I'll show you that now. A little bit shorter. But the other Amazing. Anyway, um, apart from shopping, um, we're all pretty much set for the horse. Just need confirmation. The chicken's flown down. They can fly. Um, just need confirmation that the horse is coming tomorrow. And uh, yeah, if I'm on uh, Instagram, Skate to France 2024, give us a follow and I'll follow you back. And uh, if any of you guys want to, um, to send me a clip of you doing uh, your own sunglasses thing, uh, then email me. You can find the details uh, of my email address on the, uh, on the YouTube channel page. Laters. <laughs>